Hello everyone, it's Slates here, and I'm going to be starting a new, uh, I guess, series on it, I, on my channel. I don't know if it's really a series, but like, yeah, um, this is going to be Bedrock for Beginners, where I talk about all the cool stuff in Bedrock that you need to know. So yeah, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about all the enchantments, uh, how to use them, and like what they're useful for, and that type of stuff. Yeah, so let's just get on with the video. Okay, so our first two books are the books that I find that I put in the category as the most important books, um, which these books are Unbreaking 3 and Mending. These books are amazing. They can go on any different type of armor or weapon. And yeah, um, so Unbreaking first. So if we take an Unbreaking book, and put it with uh, a pickaxe. We'll have them breaking through on our pickaxe. And this will let the durability, uh, this, uh, the durability on the pickaxe will now decrease like a lot less and you'll have much more durability on your pickaxe. Um, so yeah, and if you put it on like a piece of armor, you'll have a lot more durability on your uh, piece of armor. And then now mending, if when you do, when you do, uh, when your durability does go down on your armor or, uh, weapons, you can put mending on it. And what mending does, if the durability is down on the pickaxe, uh, and if you pick up XP, XP, so like experience, so, <laughs> um, so if we were like to get some XP, these little things, and then hold out our pickaxe that has mending on it it will heal the durability on the pickaxe so yeah uh that's pretty much it for the those are those i feel like are the two most important ones and those are what they do and what they yeah what they're useful for okay so now on to like the armor uh the armor enchantments so first we have protection four which goes on any type of armor and protection four lets you put it so you put on protection four and it will just give you more protection i guess that's pretty much just in the name most of these are just in the name really so it like uh if you have a diamond chest piece it will only give you so much protection but then if you put protection on that diamond chest piece it will give you more protection uh but yeah i guess that's it for that um next one is fire protection which goes on any piece of armor as well um, and fire protection, it really just, it protects you from fire. You don't really take damage from fire. But yeah, uh, next one, Feather Falling 4, which only goes on boots. And with Feather Falling 4, if you put it on your boots, and you fall from a really high spot, you will take less damage than if you didn't have Feather Falling 4 on you. So, yeah, that's pretty much all that does. Uh, next is blast protection and blast protection is put on any t piece of armor and you can and it will just protect you from blasts so like creepers or the ender dragon or the wither oh well, that's what what the blast protection is good for a uh, projectile protection uh if, it also can be put on any piece of armor and it will protect you from any mobs that are that shoot projectiles like ghasts or skeletons or those type of mobs so yeah uh thorns is you put it on any piece of your armor and so if we put it on this piece of our armor and we put this on and then if we grab a mob of some sort and pretty much what thorns does is if we get attacked i hope this works so as we're getting attacked they will take damage from... Yeah, see, that guy just took damage. He keeps taking damage. Yeah, so it will randomly at at times, random times... Uh, it will at random times uh, hurt the mob that hurts you or the player. So if you have Thorns 3 on it, the only downside to Thorns... Like, Thorns is a very good enchantment, but the only downside to Thorns 3 would probably be that it takes durability away from your chest piece or armor. But, like, I guess... 
I guess if you have like mending and unbreaking, I don't. It's a very good piece, and you should have it on your armor. Okay, so the next piece of armor ha we have is respiration, and respiration can be put on a helmet. And respiration pretty much let lets you breathe underwater more. So yeah, that's pretty much all it does. It just lets you breathe in the water more. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, next one we have Depth Strider 3, which you put on uh, boots. And all it does is you it, it makes you move faster in water. Like swim faster in water and stuff. So yeah, that's what that does. Uh, sorry for the dog in the background. Um, Aqua Infinity also goes on a helmet. And it just helps you breathe underwater more uh, along with uh, respiration. So yeah, um, next one we have Frostwalker 2, which you also put on boots. And what it does is if you're over water and you have Frostwalker boots on, it will make like ice where you're standing. And so it's just a good way to get around. And also pro gamer tip, if you have a whole bunch of magma you have to stand on, uh, put on Frostwalker boots because then you won't take damage from magma blocks. So yeah, just some advice. Uh, next one we have Soul Soil Soul Speed Three, which you put on boots as well. Uh, I don't have it in that chest, but whatever. Uh, you put on boots, and it will it makes you go faster on Soul Sand or Soul Soil. So yeah, it's a pretty cool cool enchantment. But like same as the thorns, it has the downside of taking away durability when you use it. And so yeah, that's why a lot of people don't like it. But yeah, uh, that's all for all the armor enchantments. Now we move on towards the weapon enchantments. Uh, the first weapon enchantment is Sharpness 5, which goes on your diamond sword, your sword whatever sword you want, netherite sword, whichever one, and it just deals a lot more damage to anything you hit. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all it does. Next one is Smite 5. Which you put on your sword as well. You can also put on an axe. Um, and yeah, Smite 5 really just hurts undead mobs. So like zombies, skeletons, and the wither. It hurts those more. So yeah, that's a good... This is a very good uh, enchantment if you are fighting the wither. Um, next one, we have Bane of Arthropods. So if you have like... This um, does more damage to spiders. Um, and so if you have like a spider farm or something like that where you're fighting a lot of spiders You can put this enchantment on your sword and kill them all really fast And so yeah, uh, next enchantment we have knockback 2 which you can put on a sword and this just really knocks back the uh, the mob or entity really far away and I think it's a good enchantment, except for like skeletons, where you're just pushing them away for them to shoot you more. Uh, but yeah, that's it's a pretty good enchantment. Uh, next one we have Fire Aspect 2, which you also put on your sword. And Fire Aspect, fire aspect um, puts the mob that you hit on fire. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it. Um, next one we have Looting 3, which you put on your sword as well. Uh, and this just makes the drops that you, like, so, uh, mobs drop loot, I guess you'd say, and the loot, uh, and if you put looting three on your sword, you can get better loot, so, or the chances of getting loot are more, like, are very much higher, um, so, like, say, if you're trying to get wither skeleton skulls, you want to put Looting three on your sword so that you can get them faster from killing the wither skeletons. Next one we have efficiency five, which you put on your pickaxe, and this just makes you mine faster. It is a very good enchantment that you should have on pretty much all your tools, like your axe and your shovel. And so yeah, uh, next we have silk touch, which you put on your diamond pickaxe, or you can put it also on your shovel. <laughs> And so this just instead, so for example, instead of breaking an ore, like breaking a, an ore when you break it, it actually keeps the ore in its like ore block and not just turns it into like a diamond or something. It keeps the diamond ore. And this is, I don't, I don't really, I don't use it that much, but like apparently a lot of people love to use it instead of using a, a fortune pickaxe, which is the next one on our list.
And fortune goes on a pickaxe, and if you mine a uh, diamond ore or something, it will just give you a lot more diamonds than just one for one diamond ore. It will give you like, I think it varies between like one and five. It's probably more than that, I don't really know. But yeah, uh, next one we have power five, which goes on a bow, and it just makes the bow much stronger. It is a very good power to have. Uh, next one we have infinity one on your bow which is also amazing to have uh it, you just you don't need to feel you don't need to fill up your entire inventory with arrows you just need one arrow and it will infinitely shoot that arrow yeah uh next one we have flame one which goes on a bow as well and it just makes the arrow have fire so it will put the mobs on fire uh yeah that's pretty much it next one we have punch two which also goes on a bow and punch just, it's like knockback on a sword where it just makes the enemy go flying backwards. Uh, so yeah, uh, next we have Lure 3, which goes on a fishing rod. And when you're fishing with Lure 3, uh, you just catch fish much faster. And Luck of the C3, you also put on a fishing rod. And this, it makes the catches you get much better, so you'll probably get like enchanted books much faster rather than just getting a whole bunch of fish. And so yeah, these two uh, combinations together are amazing if you want to get enchanted books without like uh, using villagers. Now for the last two enchantments, they are curses. We got the Curse of Binding and we got the Curse of Vanishing. So the Curse of Binding, what it does is it goes on any piece of armor, I think. It might also go on uh it might also go on here let me check this this i don't know this either so yeah it only goes on armor and what it does is if you put it on if you put it on so we just switch the thorns out so if we put it on it's curse of binding and so we cannot take it off like if you can hear oh if you can hear i am repeatedly clicking it trying to take it off my heart hot, hot bar off my like person but I cannot do this the only way to take it off is to die so if I like died I don't know if I can yeah I don't think I can kill myself and create a or I'm in survival so slash actually no it's fine but if you die or something then the thing will be taken off but until then you have it stuck to yourself and then the second curse the curse of vanishing it will uh, you can put it on either uh, uh, weapons or armor, and what it does is if you put it on and you just have it in your inventory or something, and then you die, it will vanish, so it will not be there when you come back to collect it. And so yeah, those two are very terrible curses, and yeah, you definitely don't want them if you're in like a hardcore mode or something, because that would really suck. So yeah, that's pretty much all the enchantments. And now I just want to show you what enchantments I would uh, suggest putting on your armor and weapons. So first one we got the diamond helmet, which I would put protection for respiration three, aqua infinity one, unbreaking and mending. Uh, for the chest plate, I would put protection for thorns three, unbreaking three, mending. For diamond leggings, I would put the same thing. Uh, diamond boots, I would put protection for depth strider three and breaking three and mending. For sword, I would put sharpness five, fire aspect two, looting three and breaking three and mending. For a pickaxe, I would put fortune three and breaking three, efficiency five and mending. And then for a bow, I would put flame one and breaking three, power five and infinity one. So yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. It really supports me, and yeah, have an amazing day.